हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल रूबल सॉल्यूशंस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज वायरलेस सेंसर नेटवर्क्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ वायरलेस सेंसर नेटवर्क्स दैट इज डब्ल्यू एस एन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल दैट द डेटा कलेक्टेड इन दिस वीडियो इज ऑल थ्रू इंटरनेट सोर्स the data is all through internet source and they are there are i am just compiling it and sharing it with you all first of all a question arises what is a wireless sensor network what is a sensor so let's discuss what is a sensor a sensor is a device that responds and detects some of the type of input from both the physical or environmental conditions such as pressure heat light etc the output of the sensor is generally an electrical signal that is transmitted to a controller for further processing now what is wireless sensor networks a wireless sensor network can be defined as the network of devices that can communicate the information gathered from a monitor field through wireless links the data is forwarded through multiple nodes and with a gateway the data is connected to other networks like wireless ethernet this is a general diagram of a sensor and the uh, the products that are being sensed nowadays like we have solar panels light emitted leds shoes has also uh, the sensor that can detect how many steps we can do and many other okay now the next part is types of sensor the types of wireless sensor networks depending on the environment the types of networks are decided so that those can be deployed under water underground on land and so on now there are some confusions confusion between us because normally wireless sensor networks are considered as the terrestrial wireless sensor network but there are many other types of wireless sensor networks when i read and come across this i thought of sharing with you all i hope this video will be beneficial and at least you can you can have a simple overview of wireless sensor networks and the type of wireless sensor networks now the types of wireless sensor networks are terrestrial wireless sensor networks underground wireless sensor networks underwater wireless sensor networks and mobile multimedia wireless sensor networks and mobile wireless sensor networks now we will discuss the definition of each of this number 1 terrestrial wireless sensor network that is called terrestrial wsns terrestrial wsns are capable of communicating base station efficiently and consist of hundreds to thousands of wireless sensor nodes deployed either in unstructured or structured manner in an unstructured mode the sensor nodes are randomly distributed within the target area that is dropped from a fixed plane the preplanned or structured mode considers optimal placements grid placements and 2d 3d placements model in this wsn the battery power is limited however the battery is equipped with the solar solar cells as a secondary power source energy conservation of these wsns is achieved by using low duty cycle operations minimizing delays and optimal routing and so on this is a vast topic wsn is a vast topic in this video we are just having the overview that is that is what are these wsns on what are the types so this was about terrestrial wsn we will we will come with more information in our further videos now comes the underground wsns the underground wireless sensor networks are more expensive 
than the terrestrial WSN in terms of deployment, maintenance and equipment cost, considerations and careful planning. The WSN network consists of a number of sensor nodes that are hidden in the ground to monitor underground conditions. To relay information from the sensor nodes to the base station, additional sync nodes are located from the ground. You can see the diagram that under underground mine cluster sensor network, then the central monitoring station above the ground, then internet, then emergency wireless networks. This is an underground wireless simple network. Underground wireless sensor networks deployed into the ground are difficult to recharge. The sensor battery nodes equipped with the limited battery power are difficult to recharge. In addition to this, the underground environment make wireless communication on a, a challenge due to high level of attenuation and signal loss. Now comes the underwater WSN. More than 70% of earth is occupied with water. These, these networks consist of a number of sensor nodes and vehicles deployed underwater. Autonomous underwater vehicles are used for gathering data from these sensor nodes. A challenge of underwater communication is long propagation delay and bandwidth and sensor failures. This is a general layout of underwater wireless sensor networks. Wireless acoustic waves are there, underwater sensor nodes are there, and uh, a sink that is called is there, which communicate with the with the tools that are attached to the uh, to the ground level, and the sensors gives the information to the ground level. Underground water WSNs are equipped with a limited battery that cannot be recharged or replaced. The issue of energy conservation for underwater WSN involves the development of underwater communication and network techniques. Due to this, this is one of the major reasons that many protocols are developed for underwater wireless sensor networks and are being implemented by the scientists for increasing gaining data and for taking our nodes, sensor nodes for a higher level. Then comes the multimedia WSN. Multimedia wireless sensor networks have been proposed to enable tracking and monitoring of events in the form of multimedia such as imaging, video and audio. These networks consist of low-cost sensor nodes equipped with microphones and camera. These nodes are connected with each other over a wireless connection for data compression, data retrieval and correlation. And this is the diagram that you can see video cameras are there. Nowadays you can see these video cameras who are taking the photographs of the oceans, of the trees and moreover in marriages also they are being used. And microphones, are right now I am also speaking through a microphone that is also one of the multimedia WSN type. The challenges with the multimedia WSN includes high energy consumption of course, high bandwidth requirement, data processing and compressing techniques. In addition to this, Multimedia contents require high bandwidth for contents to be delivered properly and easily. Mobile WSNs. These networks consist of collection of sensor nodes that can, that can be moved on their own and can be interacted with the physical environment. The mobile nodes have the ability to compute, sense and communicate. Mobile wireless sensor networks are much more versatile than the static sensor networks. The advantages of MWSN over the static wireless sensor networks include better and improved coverage, better energy efficiency, superior channel capacity and so on. Photo credits are given by all of these and thank you so much for the wonderful knowledge. Thank you the writer, thank you the author and hope 
this video will give you a simple knowledge about what is WSN wireless instant networks and types of WSNs. Hope you like you are liking my videos. Please do comment if something is wrong. If you feel like if you if you think it is good, then also comment. If you feel like something suggesting me, please write through the comment. I will take care in future and I will make more efficient videos soon more and more videos are coming daily i'm trying my best please support me thank you so much love love